with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the iGears MW01 Spray, part of their uh, Mini Warriors line. And they're, you know, obviously, because it's till all are fun. <laughs> and <laughs> there you go, here's the packaging Mini Warriors to Hovercraft and back again. Uh, nothing really. I mean, I, I do kind of like how it's got this like G1 kind of package sort of look to it, but not too much. Flip around here on the back, you've got a nice kind of diagram of the figure. And it says, Spray, a good-natured bot, more at home on the sea than on land. Originally scheduled to join the Mini Warrior Exodus, Spray was denied entry for being too tall and had to spend his time on his home planet where he was considered too short. Had he joined his Mini Brethren, he would never have eventually found peace on Earth. <laughs> where he also enjoyed a brief career as a voiceover artist for Marine-based Universal Masters. Quite funny, if you ask me. But uh, there's the packaging. Like I said, it has this kind of nice artistic drawing on here very sort of kind of not really similar to what we might have seen if this was a G1 sort of release. So there's the packaging, but let's get the guy open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Spray opened up and out of its packaging. And first off, one thing that I want to mention to you guys is that for the longest time, I really did not like the iGear company. They really kind of got their, their start by basically just taking masterpiece figures such as the faith leader and basically scaling them down much like the faith leader is it's an exact replica of the mp01 just scaled much smaller to me that's really nothing more than just a knockoff but these new figures are just that they are new figures and i actually am pretty impressed with these guys now starting out first uh, he does come with a little bit of a, a tech spec card very this is like credit card thickness so very very thick card, flip it on here on the back, and you see the various tech specs, you got the strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, rank, courage, fire blast, and, and skill, and then you got a nice kind of, kind of blueprint here on the back. I really do like this, and I love the quality that goes into it. As for the figure itself, as you can see, this is a very nice looking kind of G1 representation of Sea Spray. The colors, as you can tell, almost spot on. Now, I don't have a G1C spray to kind of compare it to, but he does have the whole blue thing going on, the yellow bit. You got the yellow as well. The color is almost spot on for what we got with the G1C spray. And as you can see, it is a hovercraft, and that's exactly what he was in the G1 continuity. You got the little spinny propellers here in the back. I mean, this is sea spray, it, and I absolutely love it. This, there is no previous kind of model for this, so iGear really did create their own figure, basically, just resembling sea spray. Now, one thing that I will mention is that you, there, there are some stickers that are added. You see a nice dis, or Autobot logo there. You got some silver stickers here. You actually, it's kind of hard to see, but right on the chest, there's an Autobot logo as well. Those have been added on, and, and that's just something that is not included with this because it's not an official product. You can add those on, and you can really further bring out some nice details on this guy and really make him shine if you have those kind of stickers you can add them on there and stickers like that are available at repro label so they're not hard to come by now here in the vehicle mode one thing that i will tell you my biggest problem is that it really doesn't hold together too terribly well uh, nothing really locks into place and it's kind of a pain in the butt when you're actually trying to transform them back into this mode because you're really just kind of lining things up and hoping that it stays in that position. Nothing tabs, like these arms, they don't tab, they just sit up in here. These legs, they don't do anything. And it's, you're constantly fidgeting with it just to kind of get it, like I said, in a position where it looks good. And I already jacked it up, so now it doesn't really look all that good because this little bit here is sticking out. But that's probably the biggest problem that I have. In addition to that, as you can see, uh, this bit right here doesn't like staying together too well. It you really got to force it in there, but it doesn't stay together. So it gaps out, and that's really kind of ugly. Uh, hopefully that's just on this version and not other ones. But that's definitely a, a, a negative if you ask me. Now for the transformation, it, it is very similar to the G1 figure. All you do is kind of take the legs, straighten them out, take these little bits, fold this down. Pull this all the way down, rotate these legs. Ah, come on, get that out of the way. Rotate these legs. There, there we go. Pull them all the way out. Rotate them up like so. Take these arms, rotate these around. And then take this section, kind of make sure that the head's not in the way. Then fold that back. 
kind of position everything. You have to kind of chicken leg them just a little bit here on the back just to kind of make them stand properly. But here you have Sea Spray. Very simple transformation. Very similar to his G1 self. And I do really dig that. Now I know he, he's a yellow figure, very bright, and you got the white, so it's going to be hard to see with the white background. So hopefully you guys can see it okay. But I really do dig the way that this guy looks. It, it is a very nice representation of the classic figure. And this is definitely something that I wish Hasbro would be able to, to, to actually do. One thing, he, he is a little bit weird looking if you ask me uh, because his shoulders are all the way up here kind of by where his head is that's a little weird and then his chest kind of flails out a little bit kind of making him look like he's a little bit fat but it's minor nitpicks on here uh, it, it, it shouldn't dissuade anybody really from picking this guy up I really think that he is oh geez that's a well, maybe I could do that I guess you could do that uh, I suppose if, if you really wanted to um, it, it but my nitpicks really shouldn't dissuade somebody from picking this guy up. We'll get into what really should dissuade people from picking it up here in a second. But overall, terrific looking figure. The other kind of problem, I guess he's got big gigantic feet. But it, it's sea spray. It, that's, that's not really a nitpick because that's a, a character trait of the guy. Now for his articulation, his head is on a ball joint. But it's very tough to get into because you've got these side bits here and that's kind of a common problem with these mini warriors uh, the heads are tough to get to but there is some posability in there and then zooming in so that you can see there there's the uh, Autobot sticker that was added and then you can see his face really nice face I love the fact that his eyes are painted as well very nice detail on this guy he does have ball joints here at the shoulder so nice range of motion all the way around in and out he also has ball jointed uh, elbows here and that's unfortunately it for the arm articulation but again very small figure works perfectly fine he's kind of got a waist swivel so you can rotate from left to right the hips here are on ball joints so nice range of motion and his knees are on uh, just regular swivel joints but the feet when they come when they come down here are actually on ball joints so you can get him standing really kind of straight or really kind of spread out it really just kind of depends uh, and then if you wanted to you can actually rotate this back even more and I, I guess and have him swim. Uh, he, he did do stuff like this in the actual G1 cartoon, so that's kind of cool that that's actually added in there. I, I do really kind of like that. I, I don't know if that was something they intended to do or just something I noticed, but I do dig it. <laughs> now, for his accessory, he, he comes with like a harpoon gun, which would be applicable for this guy because it's sea spray. It just plugs into his hand. And I, again, I really do love the way that this guy looks. I really didn't think that I was going to, and I'm a big fan, a big fan of this guy. And then to transform him back, very simple again. You just rotate these arms out like so, and then they like, just sit down here, kind of tuck this back. Well, rotate those up like so. Bring these together, rotate these in like so and again these don't stay together very well at least on this one I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong but they don't stay in there at all and then you angle these and like I said this is where you're gonna get into the the biggest problem for the guy that nothing really tabs in here we go kind of angle it. I'm having a hard time actually kind of doing it but nothing really tabs in so there's no real way that you're supposed to be going about it you know what he's supposed to kind of look like I mean he's supposed to look like this but nothing really lines up properly and you just kind of have to mesh it to make it look like that and then unfortunately the weapon as far as I can tell it does not have any storage or anything in the vehicle mode but this is really a fun figure to have the resemblance to G1 C spray is absolutely fantastic this guy really does look wonderful and would fit nicely in a classics collection the color everything just works perfectly now there are a few problems that I have with it like not really tabbing together and kind of kind of giving it a flimsy feel but in general it's it's well worth it my biggest problem is the cost depending if you guys can find this for a good price I would absolutely recommend picking them up the problem is a lot of places are sold out with this guy making anything that even resembles an affordable deal actually pretty expensive I've seen this guy go from about twenty to fifty dollars and twenty dollars is about the max that I would pay for this guy fifty is just getting a little bit ridiculous but the sheer fun and look of this really makes it worth picking up again if the price is right but that's about it guys so until next time I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous.
I'll talk to you later.